Sarah Lydia Kamuga, your math teacher today. And I'm with Millie for Uganda Sign Language Interpreter. Welcome to the fifth form math lesson. To learn about equivalent sets. And in this lesson, you are going to learn how to form and write equivalent sets. You will need seeds, some small stones, sticks, fruits, and any other object that is near you. Do not forget your notebook, pen, and pencil. Get a quiet place where you are going to work from. Now, let us go for a short break as you get prepared. Welcome back from that short break. In primary three, you looked at forming and naming sets. Now you are going to write and form equivalent sets. Remember we said a set is a collection of well-defined objects. And these sets must be named by capital letters. Look at these examples. Get two baskets. Call one basket A and the other basket B. Put five mangoes in basket A and five oranges in basket B. Together, let us count and find the number of members in each set. Set A, let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. Set A has five members. How about basket B? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, basket B has five members. These two sets have the same number of members. Sets which have the same number of members are called equivalent sets. Again, sets which have the same number of members are called equivalent sets. We can use the symbol to show the equivalent sets. So we say A is equivalent to B. Remember, sets which have the same number of members are called equivalent sets. Equivalent sets are very important. Knowing equivalent sets is very important. This is because equivalent sets help us to compare objects. We group and compare objects. For example, I have knives put in one place, forks in another place, spoons in another place, cups, and many other things at home. Here is another example. I will name the sets X and Y. Set X is equal to red, black, yellow, purple, green. Let me read the members again. Set X equals red, black, 
yellow, purple, green. And set Y equals orange, blue, pink, white, and brown. I have used colors. Now, together let's count and find the number of members. Set X, one, two, three, four, five. Set X has five members. Let's do the same for set Y. One, two, three, four, five. Set Y also has five members. Each set has five members. These two sets have five members each. They are equivalent sets. So we write X is equivalent to Y. Sometimes the number of members is not the same in the given sets. Look at these two sets. Set A and set B. The members in set A are one, two, three. And the members in set B are A, A, E, O, U. Remember to count the number of members before you decide whether the sets are equivalent or not. So let us count the members in each of these sets and find out whether they are equivalent or not equivalent. Set A, we count one, two, three. Wow, set A has three members. Let's count for set B. One, two, three, four, five. Set B has five members. Set A has three members and set B has five members. When the members in the given sets are not the same. The number of members in the given sets is not the same. The sets are not equivalent. These two sets are not equivalent because they do not have the same number of members. So we use the symbol for non-equivalent to describe sets which are not equivalent. A is not equivalent to B. Do not forget that we write equivalent for sets which have the same number of members and non-equivalent for sets that do not have the same number of members. Do not forget to write equivalents for sets with the same number of members and non-equivalent for sets that do not have the same number of members. I want you to look at this example also. You have to find out whether the sets are equivalent or not equivalent. Remember to count the members. 
when the number of members is the same, then the sets are equivalent. When the number of members is not the same, then the sets are non-equivalent. Okay, let's look at our sets. I will call them P and Q. Set P is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And set Q is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Let's count the members together. Set P. For set P, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And set Q, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh! These sets have the same number of members. Therefore, they are equivalent sets. Now that you know what equivalent sets are, you will say whether these two sets are equivalent or non-equivalent. Set X equals cassava, potatoes, maize, beans, peas. Set Y equals apple, Melon, Popo, Guava, and Mango. Remember, first count and find out the number of members in each set. Together, let us count. For set X, one, Two, three, four, five. Set X has five members. For set Y, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, each set has five members. The number of members is the same. These are equivalent sets. We can use the set symbol for equivalent sets to show that the sets are equivalent. So we write X is equivalent to Y. Understanding equivalent sets will help you to put things at home in order. It will help you to group the spoons, the forks, the plates, the cups, your clothes, and compare the numbers. You will also arrange the objects in the cupboard neatly. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. Remember to keep safe. Wash your hands with soap and clean flowing water and stay at home. See you next time in the next lesson. Goodbye.